Ra Hogan for Boxing UK. I am here with Jason Cunningham ahead of his Commonwealth and IBF. Is it Intercontinental title? International. Inter and now the WBO International title added to it as well. Wow. Another fantastic. bile at stake. So, yeah. so uh, just spoke to Frank. Uh, you're one of them Cinderella men, potentially. Uh, great example for any other fighters out there with a few defeats on the record. It, did that really mean anything? No. And still come back? And exactly. As long as you learn from your mistakes and you're improving, then like I say, I proof that uh, you can come back and yeah, get there in the end. And here you are, almost on the cusp of a potentially a world title shot. Yeah, that's it. Special, isn't it? Obviously, in there, starting out with a fighter like Zlani Tutti as well. Uh, I've watched Zlani over the years. Been a fan, really, as well. And uh, it's exciting. I'm sharing that with you on Saturday night. But yeah, what's at stake? Is a potential world title shot. Yeah. Any of them defeats that you've had in the past were, were people saying that, you know, well, you know, you, you've had a run, should probably pack it in now. Were there, were there ever any thoughts no, like that? No, not really. I only ever one. <laughs> My own dad, believe it or not, and I, I not very politely told him uh, I disagree. Well, I disagree with him, should I say. Mm -hmm. But that was just after the Jordan Gill uh, defeat. Uh, and he just thought maybe, you know, uh, you've got a daughter to think about this and that. The, the Scott Westcalf tragedy the day before I fall as well. So that was pulling people's minds. Um, just kind of said, oh, maybe, you know, maybe you should think about doing some notes now, this and that. And obviously, I, I had still, obviously, we'll roll the defeat, but uh, in my mind, I know I had a lot more to give, and it was just a case of just, I know eventually I would get there. So, yes, I'm glad I continued boxing. I didn't listen to him, and uh, we're here today. Well, I mean, none of them defeats. You've never really been banged out, taken no. any serious punishment. So it's a testament to your skill set and being technically so sound that you can carry on into your 30s and still yeah. be successful. Yeah, yeah. Well, I always looked at the whole body as well, which is another thing. You've got to look after your body. You've got to live right. You've got to live the right lifestyle. So I've always looked after myself, uh, which is another thing that's kept me going. I'm always active, always in the gym. So like to any fighter out there as well, you've got to be, you've got to be busy. You've got to be on it. You've got to be dedicated. Simple as that. So. Uh, yeah, we're still here, 32 year old, feel I'm in the prime, best of my years, and uh, I'm ready for whatever his line is going on Saturday night. And you've done what a lot of fighters won't do, you took three prospects in a row, yeah. so you've, you've earned your, your yeah. chance here, you, yeah. you know, no easy touches, you ain't looked for some washed up fighters, three guys that were fancy to beat you, yeah. probably. Yeah, exactly, and as well as that, I've been in the old school with the British Commonwealth off in European titles, you know, uh, you know, no Mickey Mouse titles, it's the proper old school, old school, old fashioned rule, if you like. So I've done them uh, as the underdog, as you've said there, the book is underdog as well. Uh, yeah, we've got a new test on his own, upside down with Zelani. Yeah, as you said, Teto, genuine world class, but yeah. last time out, I saw him get yeah. badly taken out by Casemiro. Yeah. Um, think that'll have affected him? Punch resistance, uh, gun shy, anything like that? You never know. It's it's how, like I said, we're at the press conference, it's, like it's intriguing, it's intriguing fight because I can't take it, oh, he's washed up the sun or whatever people have got to say. I would take it as a prime, you know, best as I intend to be with me. He's moving up in weight, could it be a weight that were a factor that played with before? Uh, because I'm a big super bantam weight, he's about the same height as me. So, uh, it might benefit moving up to super bantam weight, but I've just got to be prepared for the best as I intend to be, and I'm expecting the best as I intend to be Saturday night. So, however, however he comes out, however he reacts, I've just got to be ready, come what may, and, uh, and I will be. Fantastic. How do you assess the super bantamweight scene? Um, I mean, Frank mentioned the winner out of you two yeah. probably get a crack at the world title. Oh, I mean, Fulton is an Akhmadeli of the four mid uh, yeah, positions, good. isn't they? Good, it's a bit tied up at top as well, obviously. One's we had here, uh, the other's with Ali, and I think Inti, if that's right. So, and I think they're looking at unifying. So, uh, we'll just see see how it plays out. All I've got to focus on is Lani Tete. I can't look at any of them guys or anything beyond this because, listen, if it slip ups on Saturday night, then it's, it's all washed up in, it's gone. So, I've got to concentrate on Zlani Tete Saturday night, nothing beyond that, and uh, do the job with him. What comes after that? Well, I'll leave it down to Frank and then we'll go from there. Yeah, and uh, potentially if uh, anyway comes up. Oh yeah. <laughs> One yeah. Yorkshireman's already had yeah. a go at him. Would you? Would you? You take it, wouldn't you? Listen, I'd take anyone. You know, and you know, you get paid well, you know, as well. So that's another thing, yeah. But um, yeah, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. Like I said, regardless of all those guys, Zolani is the man I'm focusing on. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Jason. Uh, thanks for being to Boxing UK, and uh, good luck for Saturday night. Thank you very much. Appreciate that.